What is going on guys? This video is going to be about how to read an AWS Glue data catalog tables description with Python using catalog get table description from the AWS data wrangler library. So if we head over to the Jupyter notebook here, so the first step is to import the AWS wrangler library in Python. So I just imported it as WR. And now the next step, all we have to use is that one function to get our table description. So let's review the parameters of the function here. So there's two required parameters and two optional parameters. And that's why you only see two parameters being used in my function to get the table description. So the first required parameter is the database name. Now, if you're curious where I got the database name for this function, if you go over to AWS Glue Console, and if you click on the database and then select the name of the database here, you're going to see the string under the name parameter. All right, the second required parameter is the name of the table as a string. So again, that could be found in the AWS Glue console. Now, if you select tables under databases, select the table name you are interested in, and then you should find that name parameter there as well. Perfect. Now, the third parameter, which is optional, is the catalog underscore ID. This is the ID of the data catalog from which to retrieve databases. So if you leave this blank, it's going to actually use your AWS account ID as default for this parameter. You may want to use this optional parameter if the table lives in another AWS account, which your user or role has read access from. And the fourth parameter, which is optional, is Bodo3 underscore session. Now, if you leave this blank, it's going to use the default Bodo3 session initiated with AWS Wrangler. And if for some reason you had a different one, you can use that parameter here. So that's all the parameters. And finally, what it returns, and it will return the description if it exists as a string. So if we want to get that through our Jupyter Notebook, we just have to go to print description. Or simply, we can just call that variable in Jupyter Notebook. And the output, what we'll see here is the string. So it says this table contains the names of mock customers joined with the department table. And that's it. We were able to return the table description in Python. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. See you next time.